Hey folks, it's Rob here with the closer, the last closer of 2020. What a year it's been. For a lot of us, we could probably put it on record as one of the worst we've ever experienced. And that wouldn't be too far off in most cases. As you can see, it's been uh, a nice holiday for me. I got a couple little new prizes here. We're going to have a new backdrop for future episodes, things like that, which will be just great. A little bit more lighting, making things look a little nicer. I certainly hope that your holidays were wonderful. A maybe better cap off to 2020 than 2020 deserved, perhaps. But the last thing I want to talk about before we close out for the new year is something I've touched on a few times throughout the episode and the bonus content that goes around that. It's that just because a calendar turns over to a new year and December 31st turns into January 1st, it doesn't mean that things automatically start fresh or hit a reset button. Far from it, as a matter of fact. And unfortunately, the way that we're looking going into 2021 is we're going to have to do a lot of work to get out of the hole that 2020 put us in. So as you know, we kept this show going over the holidays. We did not take a holiday break. It's one of those things that we have to keep on steaming into 2021 full speed ahead because that's how we're going to get out of this. We are going to get out of this by continuing to hammer at our job hunt. It's going to push, push you down. My job hunt and my efforts on this show have been pushed to almost their limit lately by the frustrations of being a small-time content creator. And that's okay. I had a very good chance today, actually before I recorded this, to talk with some of my podcast friends. They, they gave me a great amount of encouragement and sort of like a, hey man, you know, you you do make a difference, which is outstanding. And then I, I really am thankful for, for them to take a moment to say, you know what, man, he's, this guy needs to hear this. So I certainly hope for you that you hear what I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you that you are worthwhile. You are worth more than your work. I am telling you that you are likely very good at what you do. But right now that there are some crazy circumstances that are preventing you from being the best person you can be, and they're not your fault. It's 2020, and it's almost over, folks. We are almost there. But again, in order to make sure that we push into 2021, we have to redouble our efforts. I'm right there with you. You know, I started a small-time business in this pandemic. It's not easy. You might be doing the same thing. You might be hustling. You might be driving Uber. You might be doing DoorDash to make rent, things like that. Good for you. Keep it up. If you're listening to this and you need to feel appreciated, I appreciate you right now. The people who depend on you appreciate you right now. It brings me to the final thing that I wanted to add for 2020. It's taken so much from us, including people. And that's probably the worst part. A few weeks back, I linked an article on LinkedIn. And it was an article about people finding dissatisfaction with their work, finding that they had been either misled or maybe overhyped on what their adult work life would be. And unfortunately for so many people, that means that they choose to end their life. And you've heard me talk about this on the show and in the closer before, but this one really struck a nerve with me. And I've said that this is why my show exists to help people who are in those terrible places realize that they do have value to what they do. And it led me to create the mission for recruiting hell. And this is the first time this is airing in a public sense. And I want to share this with you. It is my goal that by 2024, if this show goes that long, which I hope it does, I really do. By 2024, I want to have educated 10,000 people on how to hunt for a job better. Of those 10,000, I would like 100 of those people to have gotten that job. And lastly, of those 10,000 people, I would like to have influenced and impacted 10 of them enough to change their lot in life to keep them from ending their lives. I'd like to save 10 lives. So there it is. There's the mission layout 
for literally the next four years, educate 10,000 people on how to get a better job or how to get a new job, help 100 of those people get a job or get a better job and save 10 lives. The nice thing about that is that I think with the way the world is going and the way that everything is stacking up when it comes to listenership with this show, might have to add a few zeros to that down the road. So that's my promise to you, my friends, is that if this show for myself is tenable through 2024, I certainly hope to meet those goals. And if you're one of those people, I'd encourage you to reach out. I'd like to know if we've had some impact on you, if we've had some help in getting you what you need, because that fuels the fire to help more people. Other than that, have the warmest and brightest New Year's you can. If you are planning on going out, be safe, wear a mask, things like that. <laughs> because 2020, we don't want it to have the last laugh, folks. We got to look forward to the future. We got to look forward to making sure we take care of everybody who's important out there. And if you need a hand, be sure to reach out. I'm Rob Cannon. Thank you for spending part of your 2020 with me here in Recruiting Hell, where job hunting sucks, but we know that your job hunt is a marathon, not a sprint. And we'll be here to help you keep pace. Happy New Year, folks. <laughs>